So you're editing your project in Premiere, grading in DaVinci, and exporting it to YouTube, and your footage looks completely different in each viewer. Well, adjust your monitors, because this is how to match your footage across all platforms. My name is Nicholas Acosta, and over my 15-year career as a director and VFX artist, I've become a master at working at next to no budget. On this channel, you learn my tips and tricks on how to make 100 bucks look like 100 million. This is Unrendered Media. Okay, so we all know about Premiere's dreaded gamma shift when exporting to YouTube and the lame workarounds to fix it using LUTs. But what if I told you you can fix it using one simple setting? Quick disclaimer, this mainly applies to Apple users, not PC, but this is how you fix it. First, in Premiere, you're gonna go up to the Premiere Pro tab, scroll down to settings, and select color. In the window, you'll wanna check the display color management box. After, you'll go to the Lumetri color tab and make sure all the following is selected. Now you can export to YouTube without the gamma shift. And now, here's where it gets a little tricky. So before you start grading in DaVinci Resolve, you'll need to go up to the DaVinci Resolve tab, click Preferences, and in the window, go to the General Menu. Here, you'll need to select two boxes. Use Mac Display Color Profiles for Viewers and automatically tag Rec. 709 Scene Clips as Rec. 709A. These will adjust your program to work better with Apple's color profile. Once done, you'll hit Save and it'll ask you to restart Resolve. Once reopened, you'll notice your footage doesn't look right. Just go to the gear icon to open up your project settings. If you're working on a project for YouTube or social media, these are the best settings for a better grade and control over your footage, but with one big change. Instead of setting your output color space to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4, have it set to Rec. 709A. This also works in a color manage workflow if you want to work in a different timeline color space. Just still be sure to set your output to Rec. 709A. Also, don't forget to save this as your default so you don't always have to reset it when you open DaVinci. Anyway, now you'll notice your footage looks a bit different, so be sure to grade it or adjust it if you've already started to your desired look and export it in ProRes. And look at that. Your QuickTime file looks how it does in DaVinci and same when you put in Premiere. And now when you export your final product and upload it to YouTube, it'll look exactly how it's supposed to. No more LUTs, no more workarounds, just quality looking footage. And now you have a streamlined workflow that maintains your vision and without having to fix it as you go. I'm Nicholas Acosta from Unrendered Media. I'll catch you later.